What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future future blah, 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 blah. for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Caps are sag. Everybody in between. Don't be the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Free will only take the messages that resonate. Um, Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,160 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to do uh, can't speak. Choose to donate. Um, only donate if you feel guided to donate. Just saying, just saying. I just feel I need to reiterate that. Just saying. Okay. Uh, I received another channeling, so we're going to do it. I had to close my blinds because the sun was coming in all crazy. So, um, love you guys so very much. I do, I do, I do. -hoo. Okay, so the channeling I received was, these are psychic intuitive messages, by the way. So, one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your situation is story, not anybody else. So, you have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? Or you just might like viewing the stories. I mean, you have to, you know. You only take the messages that resonate with the rest for your own particular story situation or situations, okay? There's 13,160 you guys on here. So I pull in the energy of all you guys from time to time. So, you know, you have to plug in what fits and resonates with you and what doesn't, okay? Um, just to let everybody know. But the more you like and the more you watch the uh, channel, the more I pull in your energy. Just a um, little tidbit too, okay? Okay, so um, the channel message I received was um, a masculine tarot card reader um, is heavily contemplating reaching out to a feminine tarot card reader um, to give her information. Um, I heard a karmic, by the way. I heard he's a karmic tarot reader, by the way. He's a karmic tarot card reader. Um, to give her information on um, her sister. However, um, who he is contemplating reaching out to is a very light side spiritualist. She will not feed into the be uh, into the bullshit. Know this. So I think he watches my channel. I think that's why I'm pulling this in. I don't know. I think he watches my channel. Karmic masculine terror reader. Whoever you are, sir. Um, I think you watch my channel, and I think that's why I'm pulling this in. Just for real, for real. Whoever you are, um, you're a karmic masculine tarot card reader. Um, whoever you are, uh, Mary. And you're married, apparently. You're a karmic masculine tarot card reader and you are married. And you want to reach out to a femme, very light side spiritualist reader. So you want to reach out to another reader. Um, you want to tell her information on her sister, I heard. Um, but I heard she's not going to feed into the bullshit. So I think this is a message for you, sir. Um, just know she's not going to feed into the bullshit. If that applies for you, you are a karmic masculine tarot card reader. Um, both online platforms, both online platforms is what I heard. Okay. So you, so you have a, you're a karmic masculine tarot card reader. You have an online platform, online social media platform. She is a light side femme tarot card reader, very light side spiritualist online platform. You both have online platforms. You want to reach out to her to tell her information on her sister, I heard. Um, but I heard she's not going to feed into it. She's not going to feed into it, sir. So um, I think this is a spiritual warning for you. Um, I heard you are a karmic. So um, you have to plug... I mean, only you know if you're a karmic masculine tarot card reader or not, sir. Um, I don't know. I'm not you. So, but I do know you're contemplating reaching out to her, this very light side, thin tarot card speech, spiritualist over here, to tell her basically a bunch of bullshit on her uh, very karmic sister. Very karmic. Very karmic sister, I heard. So tell her information on her very karmic sister. So she's estranged from her sister, I'm presuming, because she doesn't know this information on her very karmic sister. Or you think she doesn't know how that resonates, okay? Um, but you want your 
contemplating. So you're heavily thinking, reaching out to her. I don't know if it's to open up communication lines. Maybe you're trying something more with this person. Maybe you want to try to get in and that's how you're going to do it. Or I don't know. I heard you're a karmic reader. There's a reason I heard you're a karmic reader. I don't think you mean well for her is what I'm trying to say. There's a reason I heard you're a karmic reader. So whatever this information is that you think she doesn't know or she truly doesn't know about her very karmic sister, it doesn't mean well for her, I'll tell you that, because I heard you're a karmic reader. You're a masculine, varied tarot card reader. Um, I heard she's not going to feed into it, so whatever the hell kind of drama you're about to try to bring to her, sir, I, it's not going to work, basically. Um, I don't know what to say about that. I don't even feel I should pull some cards on this. Like, this is, um, this is crazy. Let me see if I hear anything else. Maybe I'll pull it. An energy. It would be very, 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 very smart to stay away from this karmic masculine Mary tarot card reader. Many of his clients are getting huge wake-up calls about the past. He's about to be in very heavy legal issues soon. Light side spiritualist, Ben. Okay. Okay, so this is for you, light side spiritualist, Ben, if this resonates for you. I heard it'd be, very, uh, it'd be smart to stay away from him. It'd be smart to stay away from him because many of his clients, I heard, are getting huge wake-up calls about the past and he's about to be in serious legal issues um so whoever you are fem light size spiritualist if it hasn't happened yet it sounds like it's upcoming universe because he's thinking about reaching out to you he's thinking about reaching out to you so it hasn't happened yet um so if this ends up resonating for you very light side spiritualist social media platform fem energy over here and this ends up happening for you just a no he, one, he doesn't have good intentions for you. And two, his own clients are getting huge wake-up calls because of something that happened in the past and he's about to be in serious legal issues. I don't know if his clients are about to create legal issues for him or somebody else is. But somehow he's about to end up in legal issues. And somehow his client base has something to do with this. Fem, lights out spiritualist over here. If this resonates for you, oh my God, I'll pull one. Oh, Lord. He hasn't reached out yet if this resonates for you. First chakra, Archangel Michael. Happy family reversed. Number 35 or 4 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 35 or 4. It could be a possible age of him or a child of his or yours or an age of you or him or any other significant number in one's life. 35 or 4. First chakra, Archangel Michael. He's very, very, very sexually attracted to you. Very. He needs to stay in his lane. Oh, my God. I heard he's very, very, very sexually attracted to you. He needs to stay in his lane is what I heard. And we have the sexual, 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 sec, sacral chakra. Uh, just for real, for real. I heard he's very sexually attracted to you. He needs to stay in his lane. So, I think... He's right now in the energetic space, it sounds like he's thinking about reaching out to you. He hasn't done it yet, ma'am. He hasn't done it yet. Heard he's karmic. So he doesn't mean well for you. He wants some sex. He wants some booty. He wants some naughty pictures. He wants something. Um, he wants something sexual from you. I think for some, he might have sexual thoughts to you or dream of you or something cray cray. But I heard he's married. I heard he needs to stay in his lane. So if he wants some booty, he needs to go get it from his fucking wife or husband. And that's just the damn truth. Um, or self-please himself. Like I do. I mean, I'm just for real. Um, but he wants to cross over into your lane, ma'am. Um, of course, you have free will to communicate with him. If you choose to do so. If this ends up resonating for you. But I, of course, you can take the advice or leave it. I'm not here to tell you what to do. But if it was me, I wouldn't um, because he doesn't have good 
intentions for you. He wants some, he wants, it's something he finds you very attractive, which attraction is always great. But one, he's married and two, um, he's a karmic reader. He's not even a true white side spiritualist over here. And three, why is he bringing you drama about your karmic sister? Why, if he knows your karmic sister, like, why is there an interaction with him and your karmic sister? I'd be questioning that too. And I'm just for real. Heard he's very sexually attracted to you. Well, you can be very sexually attracted to somebody till the cows come home, but do you have good intentions for them? And this person does not have good intentions for you, ma'am. I'll tell you that right now, if this ends up resonating for you. I mean, he's pulling the freaking first chakra with happy family reverse. Let me see if I hear anything else. If he wants some ass, he needs to get it from his wife. Oh, my God. I heard if he wants some ass, he needs to get it from his wife. Holy shit of holy. He wants some ass from you, I think, ma'am. Is it, I mean, I don't know who this is resonating with. I have no freaking clue. I don't know. There's 13,160 of you guys on here, so I have no clue. It might resonate for one. It might resonate for a hundred. It might resonate for a thousand. I don't know. But one of you guys, he's thinking about you and thinking about you hard. He wants some ass from you. He wants sex from you. He wants sex wand energy from you. He doesn't want caring and affection and love. He wants banging against the wall, choking style, going at it like rabbits and then oh okay i'll see you later and then um probably not talk to you for nine months until he wants more sex um this isn't like building and growing energy this is um doing it like rabbits energy which that's all fun and dandy fun and dandy fun 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 it is but you gotta do it with the right fucking person and that's the truth this is sex one energy all day long. I heard if he wants some ass, he needs to get it from his wife. I think they have problems, marriage problems. We have happy family reversed. For some, they could have kid or kids. For some, maybe not. For some, a, a animal or animals. For some, maybe not. For some, maybe it's just them and their wife. I heard their wife. So it's a masculine energy married to wife. They're pulling happy family reversed with sexual shakeful chakra upright. He wants some ass from you, ma'am. One of these readers will end up reporting this person to the feds because of the past. Whoa, I heard one of you guys is going to end up reporting this reader to the feds because of the past. Holy shit, what did he do? He did something crazy. So much so he's going to get report. Okay, it's at least two of you fem energies he's after then. He's at least I think he's going around the um, Terrorland community online because I heard they're both online social media platforms. I think he's going around. Here's what I think. He's going around the online Terrorland community, all the readers. Or, or some of the readers. And he's picking who he wants to have a sexual rendezvous with. Is exactly what I'm thinking. But I think it's several people. It's not just one. I think it's two or two plus fem, fem readers. He's doing this to. Light side fem readers. I heard one of you guys. Cause so he's contemplating reaching out. For one of you guys regarding your sister. For one, it may not be your sister. Because, I mean, he is prowling around the damn Terrorland community. I'm just telling you that right freaking now. It's at least two of you guys. But for one of you guys, I heard you're going to end up reporting him to the feds, federal agents, because of the past. So you know something deep, dark, dooku on him from the past. And you're going to transmute the energy and turn it around on him and report his ass to the feds. You go with your bad self, light side spiritualist ma'am, whoever you are. That's some power play moves if I've ever heard it. We've had a lot of power play moves in here recently. So you go with your badass self. Now you could be the one that he's about to try to get in with about information on your sister or not. There's at least two of you guys in the universe. So one you may not be. You go with your bad self, ma'am. That's some true power play transmuting of the energy if I've ever heard it. 
He's a married masculine tarot card reader with an online social media platform. And you are a very light side spiritualist, ma'am, with an online social media platform. Beautiful transmutation of energy. Boom. He's about to ever regret messing with one of you for sure. He's about to ever regret messing with one of you for sure. So he is, it sounds like he is, um, he's thinking about reaching out to one. For one, it sounds like he's going to reach out to. Or he already has. How that resonates. But how that resonates, he's about to ever regret messing with one of you guys. That's for damn sure. I think one of you guys is about to, if he does reach out to you, which I feel one he's going to, one he's heavily thinking about doing it, you're going to transmute the energy and report his ass to the feds because it's something in the past. And I think it's something very criminal, very illegal, and something crazy, whatever the hell it is. Wow, you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, okay, I'm getting out of this one. I'm getting out. All right, I love you guys. Namaste.